Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Welcome to my Christmas market build! Ho, ho, ho! Make sure you subscribe. Click that little bell icon to be notified of upcoming videos. Support us on Patreon. Like us on Facebook and Instagram at Model Railroad Techniques. Please have a look at my new website, www.modelrailroadtechniques.com. Okay, so the next look, thing I'm going to look at doing is marking up the tracks that uh, the vehicles might go in on the roadway here. So I've got a little HO scale ambulance here. Um, so what I'm doing is just trying to measure the wheel width. Now, you could go a little bit further and look at doing the the wheel tracks of a truck, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna do it to a car to keep it nice and simple. So I've sort of just marked it out. And what I'm gonna look at doing is, I've got some blue painter's tape, cut to about four millimeters. So what I'm gonna do is lay this on the track, or on the roadway, I should say, and try to keep it as straight as I can. So obviously what that's gonna do, that's gonna mask off the middle of the, of the roadway. So the snow and ice that I will put all in, more the icy sludge that I will put on here won't go underneath. So then I'll go back in with some sort of satin or gloss type medium to make it look like it's uh, just some melted snow there. And then I'll go in on the other side. The sludge mix that I'm gonna look at making So the, so the sleet and sludge that I'm gonna look at making is made with just normal Elmer's school glue. Obviously this is just a little bit more watered down than normal school glue, which is fine. And the Woodland Scenic Snowflakes SN140 is one I'm gonna look at uh, making the paste out of. So it's just a matter of finding a container Putting in a reasonable dollop of glue. Make a little portion of up at this time, but that sort of consistency, uh, just a little more glue. So you basically just want a round sort of uh, icing sugar for really those cake makers out there little bit stiffer than that so it still sort of sticks to you so what this is going to make is the woodland scenics product will just offer just a little bit of a shimmer to it um, obviously that's still wet so it's not going to truly show it so at that point in time just grab an old brush and get it some on a little bit of, now uh, apply a little bit of time now depending on what you want to do um, you can simulate sort of a, a breeze sort of coming through or something similar. Now, I might just brush mine down because where the township is going to sit, you might not. You might have a swirling breeze in here, but I'm sort of just going to make all my brush strokes sort of on the edge. Now, I will build up the edges where a snow plow or something similar has gone through, but that's a separate technique and a different type of product. So what we're going to do is I will lift the, the tape off because we don't want that gluing down. So it's just purely a barrier at this point in time. So once you're sort of happy with what you've got, just grab your Stanley, or sorry, your, your X-Acto blade or something similar and then some tweezers and just... This next part of the build I'm a little bit nervous about. Um, so what I'm actually doing, I've made up all my little my little buildings. So the signs are on, obviously I'll give you a better, but so what I need to look at doing, 
Um, just purely because of how I've done it. I've got some wires here, but I, I, what I want to do is I want to add some sort of snow effects. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply that to the top to start the snow process, the snow effect with these uh, with these little uh, these little tents. So I've made the, the mixture just a little bit more, a little bit thicker this time around. So you can see it sticks to the, to the putty knife, sticks to the putty knife quite reasonably. So what I'm gonna look at doing is I'm just gonna tease it on just a little bit of time. I don't, I don't wanna sort of go overboard with this. I just wanna sort of work out best way forward. Now on the, the top of these, they are a little bit sealed but I used a, a photograph fixer um, I'll list that in the comments below I just wanted to make sure that we got no issues regarding this stuff uh, particularly the, the moisture that sits in behind it impregnating this card and warping it so as I said this is going to be a, a little bit of trial by error but we'll get there So that's pretty well it at this point in time. Probably go back to it in a half an hour or so, as it because it will start to sink a little bit as the the, the glue starts to dry. But um, I'm quite happy with that at this point in time. We'll uh, see what it dries up like. So what I'm going to look at doing is showing you how I do the snow effects on a building like this. All right, so I'm lucky enough, this one, the roof is not on. So if the roof's on, no biggie, but so it's the same paste. So what I'll, I'll start doing is I'll start from the top down. So what, what I did during the, the trials that I did um, to try to get this right is obviously with a roof of a pitch such as this, which is quite a steep roof, obviously the, the, the snow is gonna fall and it's gonna automatically sort of start to tumble down until it ices over. So obviously along the bottom here is gonna be a lot thicker in snow. So this is what these, these structures here is my understanding. So just a matter of using some sort of little pallet knife and then I just start working my way into those corners. Just working my way around the model now. It is a little bit of a daunting task, like right? you've spent a lot of time and money building these models and then you're just putting this glue and uh, Woodland Scenic snowflakes all over it, but trust me, um, it does come out all right the other side. So it's just a matter of sort of thinking, if you got the snow travelling this way, where do you think it's going to bunch up the most? So places I looked at is like in behind chimneys, um, behind a little uh, smokestack like that. So it's just a matter of methodically working your way through around the model. And also areas like this, what also I will do, I work from the middle outwards. So obviously you're building it up and then you're trying to get an even coverage right the way across. If you sort of work this way, um, it's actually a lot more difficult to, to get an even coverage. like an icing sugar if you're going to bake a cake for you cake makers out there or cake lovers now what it does in time um, it does start to sort of form up I don't know if you can sort of see that sort of nice sort of rounded edges so that's it's that's ultimately how it ends up but then you what you do you go with your your snow flock over the top Okay, so that's nearly finished in its entirety. So you can sort of see as the glue sort of starts to settle, 
obviously that's still wet so the shimmer will go away but you can sort of see along the, the front edge here how you get that nice sort of rolled look um, of sort of some sort of fresh snow. Now I haven't gone, gone sort of overboard with how much snow is on there. Um, yes I have covered the whole roof but through the top here it's actually quite thin so one thing you do need to be mindful of is you have to play around with the consistency and depending on what type of glue you're going to use because what it can do it can just start to run and actually fall off the edge so that's more going to be an issue if you're just going to leave it at this point because it sort of when it dries it sort of comes up like an icy sort of consistency so if that's the sort of look you're after that's fine so the other part of this snow adding portion of the build is obviously a building like this the snow is probably going to come in at an angle not totally on the top so what we need to do is start going through and just 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 ever so slightly putting on these ledges in the window seals and all that just some some snow effects so excuse my fingers but all i'll do is just get a little bit on the end of the palette knife and then i'll just quickly sort of don't want to go overboard doing this and then obviously there's a seal probably can't see just through here so it's just a matter of it's the beauty of using these palette knives because they are quite flexible. And if you've even got more finite detail, detail you want to get into, you probably go through with a, a skewer or a, a toothpick. All right, so what I'll also look at doing is just on the, the corners of the wall here as well, I'll just build, build some up and I'll show you how I do these paths because I, I, still, I still want to sort of have a little bit of a, a snowy effect, um, not sort of overboard, but... All right, so what I do from here is I just literally grab the palette knife. Now, hopefully you can see this. Now, you may be looking, what the hell are you doing? I'll show you when we do the next step. It's just a matter of pulling some of this through. So now for the messy bit, so what I do, I just get this tub, as you can see I've been doing other ones because you don't sort of want to waste any of this. So it's just a matter of getting it in a some sort of sieve and then just dusting over top. And what this will do, this will start to set and make it go a little bit harder. So. Obviously you've got all that detail down the side there. Make sure you get it in there now. This roof is not on properly, so it's just a matter of shaking off the excess. Having a bit of a look, look see, because there are some bits here that are I need a little bit more. So then I'll just get a paintbrush. You can see, and then I'll just I don't want it sort of everywhere, this stuff. You can sort of see how it's gone through. Now, don't get my fingerprints everywhere. Now, as you can see, is the pathway there. So all I do is obviously around the doorway, because this is what, it, what I'm trying to do is replicate people are, have been sort of walking there. And then all I do is I run this down the middle and maybe do it around the edge here and around the corner. As you can sort of see where people are gonna walk 
across the front there. So that's uh, my my take of uh, the snow technique. This next part of the build, I'm gonna uh, replicate some sort of icicles off the building. So what I use for that is just a cheap silicon sealant, uh, which will dry reasonably clear. Now, what I've done, from my local hobby shop, sorry, my local art supply store, I just got these for about 30 cents each. These are uh, little syringes, so this is a, a five milliliter one. So it's just a matter of spatulaing some of the silicon into the into the syringe now. So what I'm gonna do is, that's the, the product of one of the roofs that I showed you how to put the snow effects on now. What I'm going to do, I'm just gonna, the best I can on this edge here, is just have some of the, the icicles just coming off the edge and I'm just, just to give you some sort of idea how to do it. I won't do the whole roof, um, just how I would go about doing the, the icicles. Now, with this process, had a, a paper towel definitely ha handy, because it can be a little bit messy. So it's just a matter of just coming in and just a matter of once it starts, the, the silicon starts coming out at the end, sort of just tease it out. Once these dry, they are, it actually comes up quite effectively. And if you don't like it, all you do is you just go back in with the spatula, or sorry, your, your Zacto blade and just pretty well just cut it off and go again. So that's the sort of effect that that you can sort of get. Uh, probably that second one in, I'll go back in and then just tease that out, maybe even get rid of it. That's probably just a, a little bit large, but that's uh, so how I do my my icicles. Good little technique that I, I learned from uh, a war gamer online. So that's the so. end of this video. So thank you very much for watching. See you in episode three, which will be about making those little buildings and adding some of the details to the diorama. Subscribe. Click that little bell icon to be notified of upcoming videos. Support us on Patreon. Like us on Facebook and Instagram at Model Railroad Techniques.